Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saik and today we're continuing the Advent Lockdown campaign. I have um, forgotten to activate the micro in the intro, so we're jumping right into the mission. It is another great um, sunny day in the sewers of, I don't even know where we are, uh, somewhere in Europe, and we're trying to get the resistance operations mission done. As a reward of this mission, uh, we prevent chrysalids from infiltrating everyone and we get 80 intel so it's exactly what we want to do i brought up um, the standard team none of uh, the uh, colonel uh, colonels with us and we got the side trap to be able to see the enemies got two andromedon packs which are quite beefy got one massive uh, sector port pack over there and we got the advent captain over here or advent commander over there uh, which is uh, the target of this mission. So let's see how well we're going to do. No need to ask twice. First things first, I want to push aggressively towards the captain. Good, let's hope that we're not going to be spotted out. Moving our entire squad kind of into, into that corridor. Let's try to intercept the captain as soon as possible. And of course the AI does what the AI always does, which is um, moving one pack in between us and the advent um, general or the target in general so I'm not surprised to see that that is happening it will throw all of the enemies in our face before we can actually get to the general which again is quote unquote uh, normal but since we can already see him, we will be able to establish vision contact even faster. Only thing that we need to do is make sure that we're out of uh, range for those guys. To that position. A patrol projective now in range. Very good. We can get up here, but I'm not sure if this is going to trigger them. Better not risk it. And we're already in a tight situation. Don't want to trigger another pack. So let's move up and push forward as fast as we can. Understood. Moving out. Ah, that is too dangerous because we might be flanked next turn. All right. Let's directly start with the general. Are you kidding me? Still up. We've been what kind of a first shot is that, please? Completely free line of sight, and he decides to basically just blow it. Okay, so a couple of things, for one. It 
74% is not too bad. Let's try to get this guy to us. Great. That took care of us getting flanked. Another 80% shot just down the drain. Well done. Good. We're overwatching. 0%, but that's okay. We can always... Well, not, it's not really okay, but with Overwatch we might be able to get him. Pretty solid hit. Definitely better than 0%. Yeah, and our stock uh, was hitting the guy, but didn't kill him. Gotta be careful not to pull those guys here. Nor the sector pod. We definitely want to stay as far away from him as possible. So next up, let's make sure the Advent General is just not running away like a little chicken which surprisingly enough is exactly what he's going to do. First things first, gonna heal fatal. Secondly, Moving closer to our actual target. And whilst we're on it, let's get rid of the Andromedon. We're now in exactly the type of situation that I didn't want to be in to begin with because pack after pack will put themselves between us and the commander. Only the best. Nice. Got a hair trigger. Fortunately, we can't reach this guy. I'm on it. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Another thirty five percent chance. You know, I'd love to pull myself right up his face and deal with him. I don't know if this is going to trigger the other pack. It might, and that's the dangerous part. Let's take the safe route. Using grenades to further shred this guy. Thirty percent is not great at all. Fifty percent is probably somewhat okay. Like I said, not great either. Pretty 
problem is we just can't get him out of the full cover without pulling another pack. Good. Now, shell, um, Andromedon shells can no longer use cover, which is great. We pull ourselves really close to him. <sighs> nah, it's going to trigger the other pack. This here should not trigger. Fifty-eight percent is okay. It's not fantastic, but it is okay. We can overwatch. He's dodging. Let's not waste it. Whiplash will um, come back. Uh, if you missed it, it'll have a cooldown. And 60%, come on. There's a chance for a repeater kill. Dealt some serious damage. I'm okay with that. We aren't full cover. Who else could be shot? You know what? Mayday here. Could use an aid protocol. Giving him effectively full cover as well. All right, that is great. Very good. We're not triggering that pack. There's the Overwatch. Nice little blue screen rounds hit. Fantastic damage. Suit is almost done. Moving up. Ooh, look at that. We just caught him red handed. Lovely. Got a gremlin heal just to top off our front line. We have a very awkward type of setup here. Front line is far away. And our backline is sort of dealing with the Andromedon. Good. We got him right where we want to have him. Flanked, but unfortunately we're missing. Moving up. I want to end him, so I am willing to put up all of our cooldowns that we do have. I want to end it now. 50 50, come on. Uh, that would have been a kill. We're out. Still got some ammunition there. was not a good idea just barely 
manage to get next to them. Comet Presence. Like I said, I want to kill him. Fatal needs an aid protocol. And let's start slowly but surely softening up that sector pod. Good, the sector pod will have problems hitting us even with its decent aim. We're in full cover plus we do have um, a protocol. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're in the middle of this massive, massive cannon. So we're not triggering Overwatch, right? Yes, correct. Good, he's burning. Moving to position. Don't know if we can hit him from here. It's probably just a tiny bit too short. Okay, figured that that might be the case. Got a reload. Fortunately, don't have a free reload. I packed in the wrong gun. All right, moving away because it's too dangerous to stay here. just shredded parts of his armor which is good now we got to be careful to take really solid cover Moving into full cover here. Can't get him down this turn. Could move over here and kill him. Could move over here. Here and flank him, that would be great. Not afraid about the purifier. Not afraid of the purifier, rather. Could move to here, but the sector pod can 
just walk into us. I think he can't walk into 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 her. I don't think so. Could move to here into full cover. I think that's what we're going to do. The target is burning, so he can't really do much. Another 90% shot hit, uh, missed. Gotta take it with a grain of uh, humor as well. This here might be just in range of the Wrath Cannon. You don't want to be in the range or close to the Wrath Cannon in any shape or form. Moving into full cover. Not a great turn, but it's okay for now. Everyone is in full cover. The Wrath Cannon did not hit anyone. Started uh, shredding the sector port. We can probably finish him this turn. A nice hit unfortunately not an execution uh, he has more movement rate, uh, rate than I was anticipating down to one HP come on move back oh, don't just stay there <sighs> close one Oh, he hits for 10. That's not bad. Impressive. Good. We got a reload. And we got to get the sector put. Oh, it's the highest priority. Ninety percent chance to hit him. I think I'm going to take the chance to actually take a shot. Yep, that deals more damage than the grenade. Moving over here, no time to heal. We're just going to continue shredding at this point. Probably should have done it the other way around and used the acid grenade first. Nice hit. Good job. The sector port is struggling. But so are we. But so are we. Hmm. Can't really kill the shield bearer, unfortunately. What's our chance to get down, uh, get that sector put down? Hmm. 
40% chance. Don't want to give him even more aim. This here could be enough. Uh, we're taking a shot. Alright, very good. I, I was about to say this could be enough together with the uh, asset to actually get him down. It's killing time. All right, reloading. A couple of pretty nasty enemies near us. So he's still burning, meaning he will take damage. I think we're going to play it safe, which is let's go into cover. And let's deal with the purifier first. Not even hitting the 70% shot, so that's a bummer. We're continuing to stay in really good cover. General just died of burning. I was sort of counting on that. And we just triggered another pack. Oh, that is unfortunate. Luckily for us, we are in full cover. So it's actually a pretty decent position for us. Good, let's start. We want to heal Scorch over here. Oh, look at that. Hmm. We're being really solidly flanked. We got a very strong side and a super weak side. Oh, this is how it looks to me. I got nothing. Out. This here could be a kill. It is unfortunately not because we managed to miss the first one but thanks to hair trigger it actually is a kill what did you expect? which makes the whole situation much better Good, let's start. Get ready for a surprise. We're taking away the rest of the cover, hopefully shredding him a bit. Hit the armor. Out of ammo here. I am the 
and this concludes the case as long as we don't move by the way we're not in any danger to actually start burning the moment that we move however that will look completely different and i would suggest we're simply going out of line of sight that forces them to come closer and we're using the time to heal ourselves sniper moves back good sometimes you gotta work with line of sight that's a shot into full cover stupid You can only play so well at points you're going to you're going to suffer. Good. let's try to deal with the remaining enemies we're burning now uh, which is okay I suppose because we can still hunker down our biggest problem is the Andromedon To be precise, it's the only problem that's left at this point. Out. Couple of good hits. My this guy is packing a punch. It's seldom that you're just getting one tapped and that's it but uh, the way that the hit uh, to hit mechan uh, mechanic in XCOM works uh, the hit and crit rolls are not separate so essentially when they roll super super well what that means is also the crit roll will be super super high so in other words um, a, if they roll a hundred and there is a 2% crit chance and not only have they automatically hit you they also have automatically crit you which is why you've seen the 15 points of damage just straight out the gate for good measure good we can move into the open there is no um cover required to fight against the shell we're moving as far away as we can I don't want to lose anyone else yeah sucks losing a specialist like that but again we don't even have a mimic beacon nor any other sort of distraction and that's what makes it so incredibly hard Combined with the lack of weaponry, if a pack like that adds, the only thing that I could really do is, you know what, move back, uh, get completely out of line of sight, which um, I've done. And if the only soldier left in sight is in full cover, then theoretically the only thing that I could, uh, could have done uh, in order to make that even better is put an aid protocol on uh, the soldier but then we couldn't have killed the purifier so it kind of comes uh, comes down to do you want to take damage from the purifier 
um, and have a problem next turn or do you want to have a sort of 80% chance that you're not being hit and a sort of 95% chance that you're not getting killed yeah and sometimes uh, that sort of 95% unfortunately is 5% so we lost the second uh, specialist in this run I'm a bit ashamed to lose uh, additional soldiers I really shouldn't but yeah let's put more soldiers onto the wall I suppose good we got ourselves finally run and gun well, that is awesome we got Hoffman here promoted with demolition makes it better and we got field medic but unfortunately also gravely wound uh, I'm not sure if that was a, an optimal mission we lost um, a lieutenant we gained a lieutenant but yeah losing a uh, losing a soldier is never great 80 intel on the other end is okay I would say that's fine could have played that could have played that better yeah most likely specifically since I've seen all of uh, the enemies was it unfortunate that the last pack added um, just when we were killing the sector port yeah absolutely and it's also a function to be fair without kind of searching for excuses we did take the rookie team um, and no one else into that mission right so it is definitely a function just one second let's bond the soldiers yes of course confirm bond no picture so it is a function of having rookies on the mission and not having the nece necessary weaponry uh, I'm fully aware of that good old major breakthrough shortly before the month ends and finally we got ourselves a shredder gun that is awesome now up for a supply drop 450 of course the recent efforts have been incredibly mediocre um, fighting against uh, the um, uh, chosen uh, defending the Avenger that was incredibly mediocre I do agree uh, alloy padding is not the end of the world loyalty among thieves is not bad um, hidden event probably is bad uh, this one here the bleeding status is pretty bad as well in terms of getting additional getting additional options I think we're pretty much fine I'll continue to speed up the weapon research because that's what we're currently doing continue to get more experience more ability points and more ability points when doing stuff so that's good we're sabotaging reducing the avatar and yeah, let's immediately get the supplies because if we get those and sell a bit on the black market we might see a possibility to upgrade armor which by the way fun fact if we had armor upgrades you probably would uh, not believe it but that would have offered us uh, the option to not be uh, killed with a single shot Uh, improved auto pistols plus one damage to the Templar's auto pistol uh, Templar doesn't use that often enough to to actually make it worthwhile we're continuing with beam cannons I want to make sure that we're getting all of the weapon upgrades so that I can um, hand back the campaign with the necessary technology We got Intel plus an engineer. I think that is uh, reasonable. Almost 144 supplies. That would be not quite enough. 
Let's fly up there, see if we can somewhat squeeze out 200 supplies before we go into the mission, because I really want to upgrade the armor. Yeah, there we go. Andromedon racks. We can certainly sell a lot of those. Few more alien alloys. Do not hurt either. 150. We need 171. Uh, stun lancer can go. Yes. Shield bearer can go. Advent officers can go. Archon corpses can go. Priest corpses can go. Maybe we can even get, trying to be a bit greedy here, maybe we can even get more. Don't need the purifier. Could use the max um, if you build sparks later. Didn't have the money to do that yet. So we're at 300, that's 730. We might be able to get another weapon upgrade so that's definitely enough for now to upgrade the armor which is absolutely needed we unfortunately lost too many soldiers by not having the armor upgrades there we go finally finally Not sure how we can build the rage armor if we don't have the rage armor. Really not sure about that. I'd be careful to... I know that we've researched it. I'll, I'd be careful I hold back on, uh, on it yet. Beam pistols are great. So it's probably something that I would want to take. Um, plasma lance too expensive for now. Gauntlet too expensive for now. We're going with the pistols. Yeah, the Templar pistol isn't absolutely required. Mimic Beacon does not have enough faceless corpses, unfortunately. Yeah, I think that's good enough for uh, good enough for now. Let's take a look at our armory and where we stand. Now with the new uh, with the new setup, everyone's like at 15, 16 hit points. Maybe if we wouldn't have survived. Well, we could have survived the 50, 15 crit. Depends who would have taken it. But yeah, I mean, look at it. Even sharpshooters uh, with super low hit points are at 12. Frontline is at 16. That's good enough. We can take a single hit and uh, that that is fine. In terms of just classes, we got four colonels at the moment. That's not enough to hand the campaign back. Um, trying to still get the major uh, fatal uh, to colonel. We got a few lieutenants, unfortunately lost one. And we got a few sergeants here that require more leveling corporal specialist yeah and a few wounded soldiers unfortunately but all in all um, it's going into the right direction this campaign here is different than the others uh, normally um, when i'm receiving uh, this is saving your disaster campaign the person um, effectively has maneuvered themselves into a kind of unsolvable situation where the doom clock is um, f far advanced uh, or they lost their entire team. But generally, the uh, core fundamentals of the strategy layer are okay. I've seldomly seen um, a legendary player where they are not okay. In this particular case, it's exactly the other way around. Um, 
the underlying strategy layer has been so far off of uh, the uh, optimal pass that it seems um, involuntarily so the person has always taken uh, the wrong decisions so being in the end game and essentially having magnetic weapons and not the right armor upgrades at some point leads you to simply losing uh, soldiers you are seeing it even if i'm playing everything right you just don't have the firepower to compete and if you then do not either have uh, mimic beacons to cover up for it or have some sort of uh, trick up your sleeve you just can't deal with it not that deep into the campaign not uh, in February of 2036, uh, where since half a year you should have all of the technologies. So uh, that's a bit the uh, the problem, which means I need to go through two full months um, of uh, or three full months of um, actual gameplay to get it back uh, to track. But um, the goal that I've set for this campaign, where I consider it saved, is if we do have one and a half um, sets of kernels where he can very solidly uh, have an A team and a B team with also pretty decent um, soldiers, and if he has all of uh, the um, all of uh, the technology, uh, so the upgrades available to him, the main weapon categories on plasma and now uh, the armor, then I would consider it to be saved. In terms of choosing a war suit here let's just do that maybe as the last thing if we can come up with a hundred more supplies mm, not even a hundred it's rather 70 more supplies I could build a wrath suit which would be great or even better a war suit which I probably would go for because we have a shredder cannon and that will give us some extra oomph so 70 70 more please can get rid of many of the troopers don't need the mutants might need the chrysalids might need the uh, mechs know what that's good enough because if I'm not mistaken we had the instant build for it war suit and that's exactly what we were looking for very nice suit um, allows you to uh, carry a heavy weapon uh, with you and that will be helpful for us so since ogre here will be our leader in the next um, in the next map if we can give him a nice shredder gun like i intended to we're definitely building another uh, set of um, these suits as time goes by this shredder gun here with uh, massive radius and uh, six to nine points of damage will be very very helpful that's on top of everything else that he's carrying so that's exactly the type of character that you want to, uh, to take the suit so yeah very good cool that's it for today's episode a little bit longer than usual thank you so much for watching guys and if you enjoyed the content feel free to give it a like and um, subscribe to the channel see you in the next run bye bye